Welcome to Happy Valley, home of the Penn State Nittany Lions and one of the most passionate fan bases in all of college football. We have a ranked versus unranked battle coming up here. You know how chaos can ensue if they start smelling an upset. As we'll see a squad from the ACC, the Stanford Cardinal, taking on the seventh ranked team in the land, the Penn State Nittany Lions. 48 Sports College Football by Reese Davis, joined here in the booth by David Pollock and Jesse Palmer. And guys, let's get this thing started. from inside his own five. Nice job executing all of the assignments as they put a stop to that return at the 22. So the Stanford Cardinal offense will take the field for the first possession of the day. And here's the man they rally around, and he has earned that type of respect, David. You dang right. You earn it by doing it, and he's done it at such a high level. Everyone believes in this young man, and Palmer, there's a reason why. You're right, David. He's been in the big moments, and he's won the big games. This guy delivers when the game is on the line. Yeah, and the running back didn't get much here, but, you know, we clearly want to always establish the tempo, run the football, be consistent, make that defense physically meet the challenge. This crowd going to try to make life miserable for these guys. We'll start our offense. So the decision has been made, and the coach will take the penalty. Line getting set on second down. Quarterback on the keeper. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. Well, he couldn't find any running room at all, and he'll end up taking the loss on the play. Yeah, great discipline on defense, too, because if you're going to stop the option, you have to play assignment football. Everybody doing their job. There was just nowhere to go there for the keeper. And this is not the way they envisioned the opening drive going with the third and long coming up. Nice defensive play to get a hand in there and knock it away. You just got to wonder, too, guys, if the crowd didn't impact the offense. They're playing on the road on the first third down of this football game. Incomplete. The idea here, I think, just punt it away and see if you can regroup because this environment is hostile. Fourth down, and the punt team sends it the other way. He only needs a sliver of daylight. They make the stop on the return, but there is laundry on the field. Let's get the call. Personal foul. Personal foul. Welcome to kick. 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 The officials offer the deal, and the coach accepts it. They will take the penalty. He's looking to throw it. Incomplete. He had to get rid of it before he wanted to. The defense put the heat on. Well, he did a good job getting to the middle of the field. That's where the offense wanted to attack on that play. He's just got to do a better job looking that football in. After the quarterback and receiver couldn't connect, it's second and ten. He'll keep it himself. Finding a way to put that foot in the ground and get it up to the 37-yard line. Shoes up yards down. That is really quick, really decisive. Design quarterback runs are, are very difficult to stop, and you can tell he's got some ability to make big plays. Thank goodness they got him on the ground, and it wasn't a bigger play than it could have been. Wants to throw. It's Daniels. Throws to the tight end. Complete downfield. He goes out of bounds, but there is a flag on the field. Let's see what this one's about. You just can't hit the quarterback like that. That is a dumb play, and the defender got caught red-handed. Comes out throwing on first down. A beautifully placed ball to the outside, and the toe drag for the big pickup. When you're throwing these comeback routes, man, the timing has got to be so good between the two of them because you know the ball is going to be in the air a long time. You can't throw it late. It's going to get picked. That time, really nice job getting it out early and the receiver doing a nice job on his route so that the ball was right on him as soon as he turned around. 
the give to the tailback. Able to get a couple on the play. He's down at the nine. Going to work on second down in the red zone is still some ground to cover to pick up that first down. He's looking to throw. And it'll be incomplete. This is some physical pass defense. Not many receivers like to get hit. They just don't, okay? They're prima donnas. That's what they are. That's who they are. Nice job by the defender. You could tell he was catching the football. He was going to put a hit on him to make sure he had to think about something later. And you could see the ball pop out and fall to the ground. On third and long, try to convert through the air. And the incomplete pass will bring up fourth down. Tell you what, I don't know if the offense was expecting man coverage that time. Third and long in field goal range, you're expecting it to be zone. Instead, they lock them up man to man. Everybody on an island, everybody won. They get the incompletion now setting up for Now on fourth down, they'll send out the field goal unit. Neil boot one from the right hash. He ought to be able to navigate that angle from this distance. Oh, he missed it. No good. Kicker couldn't quite get it through, and the scoreboard remains the same. You can't miss opportunities like that. You're playing on the road in a hostile environment. You're trying to seize momentum right out of the gate. You get a nice drive to start the game, and then you miss the field goal. You don't get any points to show for that. If they're going to win this one, guys, they've got to take advantage of those types of opportunities. The offense set for a first down play. The hand to the running back. Stopped at the 25 after a five-yard game. Sometimes as an offense, you like run plays, and you like running it right into the teeth of the blitz. That's what happened right there. Everybody up front got a hat on a hat, and they were able to crease that defense. Halfway there on first down, it's second and five. Give to the running back. Tackle is made at the 28 after a pickup of three. Oh, man, there's some big hitting going on in the trenches right now. This defense, they take a lot of pride in stopping the run. Let's keep our eye on them throughout the course of the game and see if they can contain this running attack. Here they come, trying to convert a third and short from the 28. They'll try to move the chains on the ground. So important to convert these third downs, and they get it done. They'll have it at the 42. And they may have caught the defense snapping there a little bit, David, maybe expecting pass on that third down, but because of the back's effort now, fresh set of downs. And it's so nice to have a guy that you can give the football on these third down situations and feel confident you're going to continue to move the sticks. Takes the handoff, and he's going right. He's brought down, but there's a flag on the play. Let's see if it stands. Hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. Amazing how many times an offensive holding penalty will stall a drive. We'll see if the offense can overcome it. Running back searching for a hole. Nice, solid form tackle from this sophomore. It's just so nice to know you can start off on first down with positive plays. Positive yards, hand the football off, set up a good second down. Now on second down. From the gun, the give, looking for room. And they're able to shove him to the turf as they stop him for a short game. They're strong and they're scrawl. Defensive tackles, they're scrawl. They're such big jokers in the middle where they just lock out those offensive linemen. And running backs, listen, they don't have much of a chance. When you got that 300-plus pound guy grabbing you around the shoulder pad, you tend to go to the ground pretty quick. Caught over the middle, it's Saunders. He puts him in business across the 50 into the 46-yard line. It'll be first down. Wow, and what a great job by that quarterback, finding his open receiver on third down. You know, guys, one of the most telling stats at the end of the game is third down conversion percentage. If you're a great third down team, it's invaluable to your offensive success, and that's why teams drill third down so much in practice. 
And he does a really nice job finding open space and making a good gain before the stop is made. Well, it's plays like that that'll help this offense stay in rhythm all game long. If you can have that kind of success on first down running the football, it just opens up your entire playbook moving forward. Eight-yard pickup on first down leaves them with second and short. Right back to the well. He is tackled, but it'll be a fresh set of downs. And the Nittany Lions took those plain headgears, got their blocks, and picked up the first down. Yeah, and those headgears are a staple, aren't they, of college football? I know exactly what you're talking about, those beautiful helmets. They don't change very much, very traditional. Penn State keeps it simple. Being traditional, running the football. Well, good call by the defense there. They dialed up blitz into that running play, and the linebacker able to make the stop. The lost yardage leaves them with second and 11. After run, 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 now throw. Unloads to the wideout. Find space on the right. And they'll finally bring him down after he rips off a huge play. Just outstanding execution, continuing to work his way back through the football. Yeah, and everything about this route looks vertical. The comeback, it looks like it's a go. I'm thinking speed, and then he sets it down. QB puts the ball on the money, and he makes the play. Trying the left side. Made a little something out of that run. He picked up a couple down to the 14. Operating in the red zone here on second down. Keeping it on the ground with the running back. Punched it in for six. They'll get him down at the one-yard line. I think it's really important for this offense. They get this guy going early in the game, and they're doing a nice job of that right now. Remember, he's the kind of running back who gets better as the game goes on. That's a really good omen for this offense, considering his success now early. He'll do it himself. And how about that interior defense stuffing the run for nothing? Really nice job by the defense playing responsibility football, making sure the quarterback couldn't make any of his reads, making sure the picture is not clear, getting downhill, getting the quarterback on the ground. Can the D deny them on second and goal? I'll try to power it in. And makes his way into the end zone. Touchdown, Penn State! The offense goes as he does, so really no surprise on the opening drive. They keep feeding him the football. He shows you all of his ability on that team. Later. Now they'll line up for what they hope is automatic. And the PAT makes it 7-0. That is what they mean when they say ball control. A 14-play touchdown drive. And they finish it off with a short punch into the end zone. About to kick it off after punching it in for the touchdown. Returner's going to try to see what he can get. Not a lot of space to be found. Good hustle by the coverage team, and they stop him at the 21. Stanford has it back. The Cardinal offense returning to the field. It's complete to the right. That's about as close as you can get to that marker, and it will be second and just a few breaths away from the first down. How about this running back's ability to get into a pass pattern and get into one downfield? Yeah, I like it, and I like the offensive coordinator continuing to work the running back in the passing game. Do more of this. It's easy. It's not, it's not hard routes. It's not things I have to read. It's matchups and what I find when my guy's better than yours and how I take advantage of it. Well, I know this is an offensive line that has a ton of pride. They want to come out each and every game and really 
impose their will on the D-line. They got just enough push there on that run play to pick up the first. They'll snap this one from the 32. It's first down. Might as well run him until they stop him. He's got it again. Not much he could do there. Does pick up two to the 34. I like feeding my guy. I like getting my running back touches, feeding the ball so he can break some of those big runs. But I'm also okay with these little ones. Set the tone, stay balanced. After picking up a couple at second and eight. From the gun, the ground game. Just sort of a relentless run, getting everything that was available to him, and they'll mark him down at the 40. I think you run that play on second down, knowing it's going to make third down easy. You're not trying to hit a home run. You don't need the big play right now. Now you know third down, everything's on the table, everything's available, high success rate. On third and short, the power run here. And there were some collisions in there, and the D finally stopped him short of the marker. The Cardinal will have to boot it away. Fair catch called for and made. Penn State sends the offense back onto the field. What a good mix of plays keeping that defense off balance last time, David. And, and Reese, they don't know if it's run or if it's pass. They got them right where they want. This defense doesn't know how to react from getting punched in the mouth on that last drive. So in this next drive, David, I think you keep running the football because that sets up the play action. It sets up the RPO game, and then you keep this defense guessing. First down for this offense. Used the play fake, now to throw. Fires to the wide out. All oh, kinds of room to throw that one in there. Defense on skates that time. They finally drag him down at the 42. Love to see the fearlessness of a quarterback to work the middle of the field. And he's got so much confidence in his own arm talent to be able to get that football there before the defense can break it up. The Nittany Lions are in the hurry up. On the option. Nowhere to run on that one. He loses four on the carry. Second down coming up. Here comes the offense on second down. We've come to the end of the quarter, and it's Penn State on top. And we've come to the end of the first as we take a moment to check out the stats so far. They've switched into the field, and we're ready to get things started here in the second. Offense working from the pistol. On the run, it's Aller. Quickly to the tight end. They bring him down, but a solid pickup to put them in position to pick up a first down. You know, David, this is really what game managing is. Nice pickup on second down to help them on the next play. Yeah, I think people look at that negative sometimes, finding a quarterback that's a game manager. No, use your brain. Set up good situations. I'm, I'm way more successful when I can keep those sticks in a more manageable situation, and I'm not as predictable on a third down. And the defense makes the immediate tackle, but he has enough for the first down. Well, that's a great job by the wide receiver there on a critical down. Third down, running the curl route, coming back to the football, making the catch, and picking up the first. The Nittany Lions have their offense in high gear. Looking to move it through the air. Got a man, it's Saunders. He's brought down, but there's a flag on the field. Let's see what the call is. Defense. I bet it felt good to hit that quarterback late until you got an earful from the coach and cost your defense 15. From the gun, give on the inside. 
He'll be brought down at the five-yard line, and this defense is on its heels. Hey, five to six yards a pop. I don't know if you guys are really good at math, but that usually equals a first down every couple carries. So don't forget about the run game. Keep them honest. Pound that rock. Going to work in the red zone, they can't pick up the first down without getting it into the end zone. Looking to throw on second down. He makes a grab! And he was so close to scoring with that one, but he's shoved out of bounds at the two. Well, you can tell those two have been practicing the out route all offseason long. They look like they could have completed that in their sleep. Not a lot of ground to cover and not much to defend. A big third down in the red zone. The option look. Nowhere to run on that when he loses four on the carry. I'll tell you, this is a hard defense to run against if you're going to go sideline to sideline because of that guy's speed at linebacker. He can get all the way to the perimeter, chase the quarterback down on the option, and make the tackle behind the line of scrimmage. Impressive. And on fourth down, they'll try to salvage the drive with a field goal. It's good, and that was dead. Solid perfect. And that lead grows even bigger. Let's see what the defense can do. Just into the end zone, and he'll bring it out. Nice job by the kickoff team. Everybody stayed in their lanes, and they'll stop him at the 16. The Stanford offense making its way back onto the field. Off play action on first down. They are trailing by 10 here, Jesse, but this is the type of team that seems comfortable in an offensive shootout. You got to hold serve at this point, right? You got to drive the field, put some more points up on the board. Yeah, they just scored. You can answer that now and keep this thing close. And I think you're used to that as offense. Like, football is so fast-paced now, and you score so quickly. It's not that big of a deal to get down 10. You keep being you, keep being aggressive. To the ground with the back. They knock him down, but he gets enough to give Stanford a first down. And most importantly, they got the first. They've been getting pushed around up front this game and haven't created a lot of lanes to run the football, but you needed it. You needed that first down. You needed to get the sticks moving. You need to run some clocks. So good job by the offense finding a little bit of space to get the first down. They'll throw it on first down. Spits it out to the back. On target. Bust through behind his pad. He gets those chains moving, gets it out to the 42-yard line. I like the running back there on the route, the patience he showed, really setting it up. He got to the defender, was able to put his foot in the ground, get some separation, catch it, and turn up field for the first. Finally, this offense starting to shake the cobwebs and get things moving. It's first and ten. The give to the back. Hard running there. He will step out of bounds, but not before the big pickup and a first down for this offense. First down, physicality wins football games. Being able to run the football and create balance. And, and right here, just chews up another first down. Gives you another chance to maybe continue to run the football. And I feel like this guy, too, is just an explosive play waiting to happen. His vision, his quickness, and he's got a burst. If you give this guy just a crease, he's going to hit it. And right now, he's doing some damage on this defense. Nowhere to run on that when he loses four on the carry. So first down didn't exactly go according to plan. Let's see what they can dial up on second down. Uh, Reese, I got him right where I want him. Okay, I'm going to throw the football. Now I can get back in shotgun. Let's forget the running game stuff. We're going to play a little pitch and catch and see how good that secondary is. Going to try to pop one on the screen. They make the stop, but not before he takes a chunk out of what they need to move the sticks. Well, a nice gainer on that running back screen. How about the offensive line getting downfield and getting blocked to really help out the back, find some space to go to work? Decibels rising as the crowd gets behind this defense on third down. Back to throw, it's Daniels. Oh, they really could have used that catch there. Physical pass 
defense, it brings up a fourth down. Well, on third and short in field goal range, they dial up the pass play. Quarterback was trying to get through his progressions. There was just simply nobody open. Couldn't make an accurate enough throw. Ball falls incomplete. Now setting up a big decision here on fourth down. On fourth down, looking for the completion. Finds his man enough for the first. And this junior quarterback shows you why the scouts love that big arm of his. And that can really take the wind out of a defense's sails when you convert with a fourth down completion. Great chemistry there between the quarterback and his target. Fourth down, you gotta have it. You gotta be on the same page, and they were there. So the decision has been made, and the coach will take the penalty. Eighth play of the drive coming up. Here's the snap, looking to throw. Fires to the tight end. They bring him down, but a solid pickup to put them in position to pick up a first down. Just a quick rhythm throw there and really good use of the tight end. Yeah, good use of the big fella. I mean, go through your progressions real quick. You can't find anything. Get the easy game. Don't take a shot down the field all the time. Take those shots later, but take those easy, wide-open opportunities to get some positive chunks. Got it in the middle. It's Iowa Manor. He's brought down quickly. Minimal gain there. Still a bit short of the first down. And I love when you understand when I'm supposed to put some RPMs on that football. You can tell he's thrown over the middle of the field. He knows he's got defenders there. I got to throw this thing in there quick, fast, in a hurry. Nice job by the quarterback. Shotgun snap on third down. Quick completion on the out route. He's run out of bounds, but he's got enough to move the sticks. He might have expected to see this DB up in his receiver's kitchen instead. Nice little zone, and they pick up the first. Man, offenses are getting so good, Reese, at seeing the holes in the zone, knowing you're in zone, knowing where to sit down, how to make it an easy pitch and catch for the quarterback, and that's what it was on third and short. They're going back to the ground. Not a lot of daylight there. Let's give him one to the 14. Going to work on second down in the red zone is still some ground to cover to pick up that first down. They go to the ground. Not a lot of room down here. He's able to pick up two. It's down at the 12. pick up this conversion and avoid having to settle for the field goal back to throw it's Daniels released to the back touchdown Stanford hold it in and just kept right on running to the hallelujah land backed up in the shadow of their own goal post no problem when you start in the black zone inside your own 20 coming out, it's difficult. You can give up a safety. You get worried about that. But the offense puts a great drive together. Great job executing. Great job getting a touchdown. He'll try to tack on one more. And with the extra point, the lead is cut to three. It's 10 to seven. That is what they mean when they say ball control, a 14-play touchdown drive. And the score comes on a 12-yard touchdown pass. The kickoff team out there and ready to go. From inside his own 10, let's see what he gets. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. Using his legs, it's Singleton. Into the pile, maybe got one. He stopped at the 21. You know, runs like this oftentimes are like a boxer in a boxing match. Obviously, it's not a knockout punch, but these are body blows. And as the game goes on, these small gains are going to turn into longer runs. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. Power football with the run. Tripped up at the 25 after picking up four. 
And as an offense, having success on a run play like that early in the game just opens up all the possibilities of your playbook moving forward. Play action, running the ball, throwing the ball, screens, anything is at your disposal at this point. So they're facing third and short from the 25. Scanning the field, it's Aller. The quick out. Great move there. And they'll finally catch up to him, but not before a big chunk of yardage is picked up. This is exactly why third down is practiced every single day. Third and short, third and medium, third and long. It's money down for a reason. you got to lock in. Great success by the offense so far in third down. And the Nittany Lions headed quickly to the line. He wants to throw. And he makes the catch, but he can't stay in bounds. That'll be incomplete. Out routes are timing routes. And QB's got to throw that before the receiver gets out of his break. He was a little bit late, and as a result, it's incomplete. Wonder if they'll throw it again after the incompletion. Second and 10 from the 49. Misfired on the last play. They'll go back to the air. They're setting up the screen. No! They make the stop, but not before the screen has hit him for a first down and much more really good execution by this offense. Hey, man, sometimes you get the perfect play call at the perfect time. That time, the defense blitzing, offensive line allowed everybody to run upfield, and they slip in the running back screen, and behind it, there was nobody there to make a tackle, and this offense generates a massive play. He makes a catch. He's run out of bounds, but a big play on that one, and it'll be a first down. How many first downs is that just on this drive? We're going to have to get the training staff to, to give some IVs and get some bananas, and we better stay hydrated because at this rate, the defense is going to play way too many snaps. He's got it on the run. Crisp execution in the passing game, and they've got it down to the three. I like the decision by the quarterback here. Just get the ball out of your hands, get it to your playmaker. A lot of times he'll dance and make even bigger plays than he did here, but it was still a positive game. We've reached the two-minute warning, and we'll see if the offense can build on this lead before the break. Operating in the red zone here on second down. They keep attacking through the air. Makes the grab. They will score. Touchdown, Nittany Lions. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. And with the extra point, they're now up by a touchdown and a field goal at 10. They march 79 yards on the drive, and they finish it up with a three-yard scoring toss. Lining up to cover the kick after that touchdown drive. Looking for those open spaces and opportunity. And good work by the coverage team to knock down the return man. Stanford has it back. The Cardinal offense returning to the field. Trying to find his man on first down. It's complete on the right side. Running out of time here in the first half. And they do have a chance to make this a one-possession game. And so you got to locate your best players and get them the football on this drive. You're down in the game. There's obviously a lot of football left, David, but on this drive, in this two-minute situation, best players got to touch the ball. And this could get into pressing mode, right? Like, you go into the half, down a couple of scores, it starts to... The pressure really, really mounts. Good opportunity to take some of that pressure off, get some momentum, energize this squad going into halftime. Good job running that route to get past the sticks because he got nothing after the catch. 
Precision, execution, and timing to pick up the first down on the out route. I think you're spot on. Th those out routes, man, it's got to be about timing. you got to throw that football before he breaks. Nice job seeing it. Short yard situation, throwing the ball on the money so the receiver can get upfield and get the first down. Makes the grab on the left. They stop him just short of the first down, but it will be second and inches coming up. There's a timeout called as this offense tries to find a way to draw a little closer. On the move, it's Daniels. Gets it out fast. Gets it to the 42-yard line, and that's a first down. Nice completion here to this wide receiver, and you're going to see this receiver line up in different spots all over the field all game long. Defense has got to keep their eye on where this guy is because they know he's a big part of this offensive success. It's a first down. They'll stop the clock to reset the chains. Offense up tempo. He's going to pass. Catch in the middle. It's Iowa Man. They make the stop, but this passing game does some damage, and they move the sticks with the first down. There's a timeout on the field. Tight game here late in the first half. Going up top on first down. Right on the money to the outside. He dragged the toe. And how about the ball placement? Only the receiver could get it. Listen, the comeback route is one of the more difficult routes to throw in college football. You see zone, and they're bailing, getting out of there. Nice job by the receiver, sticking his foot in the ground, coming back to the quarterback, catching the ball. Nice pitch, nice catch. Looking to go up top on first down. Snagged in the middle. It's Io Manor. Stopped after making the catch. Well, we knew coming into this game, this offense was going to try and get this receiver involved and get him involved early. So here they are just finding an easy completion. It's not a touchdown, but they just want to get this guy lathered up and get him into a win. Running out of time here in the first half. They're going to have to be efficient to put some points on the board before the break. He can't find his man, and the clock stops with six seconds left. Yeah, that was a good play on the ball. Get his hand up and get the tip, get the deflection. Ball bounces up in the air, falls to the ground. And it's third down. They're going to go ahead and try the field goal and try to get points before the break. The kicker will try to punch one through from 41 yards away. Between the uprights, it's good. That late in the half field goal always gives you a little boost going to the locker room, and they'll need to finish off these final few seconds and not allow them to answer. He'll bring it out from inside his own 10, and the returner will be dragged down. That's the end of the second quarter. That means it's time to join Kevin in our halftime update. Gentlemen, what a pleasure it's been to watch these two teams thus far there in Happy Valley. The passing game for both sides has been outstanding. On point, unrelenting. They've excelled in the short game, the intermediate game, and especially on the deep ball. All in all, a thrilling display of offensive firepower, and these defenses have a lot to discuss here at halftime. With that said, let's send it back to the guys in State College, PA. Stanford set to boot it deep to start this second half. He'll bring it back from inside his spot. The Nittany Lions going back to work on offense now. Keeping it on the ground to open the second half. They knock him down after a gain of three to the 23. Small gain, I know, but again, the defense knows he's going to run the football. He's willing to run the football, not just drop back and pass. Make him onto the run game. you got to do a lot of this. After the three-yard pickup, they come to the line second and seven. Little touch pass to the receiver. Pass the first down marker and still running. He's loose. 
Just gashing this defense. A big gainer to the 40-yard line. How many ways can I give to my guys who can fly, who are playmakers, and let them make big plays? This is another one you've seen. Catch the football, flip it ahead really quickly, get it to a burner, going full speed across the formation. He gets the edge, makes the big play. Wants to throw on first down off the play fake. That's caught. It's Saunders. And the defense had that one well covered. Just a short game there. This quarterback right now is in a groove, and he's doing a nice job in pre-snap. He's reading the coverage, and he's getting an idea of where he wants to go with the football. That's why the ball's coming out of his hands so quickly, and that's why he seems like he's in a great rhythm right now. Wide receiver shows motion. Touch pass on the jet sweep. The ball's free, and this fumble will squirt out of bounds. Ooh, offense really lucky there. Ball on the ground. Everybody's trying to make a scramble for it, and it just goes out of bounds. So the offense lucky to maintain possession. Third down is where the money is made, but they're lucky to be here after that ball was loose. He'll pull it on the read. They finally make the stop at the big run. Is plenty to move those sticks for the first down. There's an example of the offense taking advantage of all the attention the defense is giving this outstanding running back. Remember, he's one of the best in the game. They're expecting him to get the football. So the quarterback says, you know what? I'll just keep it. No one's keying on me. I'm going to get upfield and find an explosive play. Here's the handoff. Dropped after a pickup of four down to the 16. Solid pickup of four on first down. It's second and six. Pulls and throws off the RPO. That completion gets them inside the 10, and the defense is running out of room to defend. Really nice job there by the quarterback understanding it's blitz, and not just that it's blitz, but knowing whether it's man coverage or zone coverage behind the blitz. You've still got to know where your answer is going to be based on what the defense is doing in the back end, and he add the answer to the test right there. He's got it and still on his feet. And he'll step out of bounds after a very productive play. And watch the offensive line here. They all block the run. Because they're blocking run, the quarterback decides, oh, I got a favorable matchup. He dumps it out to the right, makes the right read, gets a nice positive game. And after that first down gasher, they're close to the end zone. Second and goal coming. They'll go with a direct snap. And he takes it in for the score. Touchdown, Penn State! Another rushing touchdown. That's now two on the game. This offense thought they could come into this one running the ball, being the more physical team, and they look like it right now. They'll try to add another to their lead. The kick is up and good and put one more on the lead. They march 79 yards on the drive, and they close the deal, pushing their way inches into the end zone. Almost ready to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. Here he comes from inside his own five. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. The Stanford offense making its way back onto the field. Now we'll get a chance to see if they can answer that last score, trailing by 14, Jesse. Yeah, and at this point in the game, I feel like offensively, you should go back to what's been working for you in this game. Don't be afraid to dial up plays that you've already had success with, running it and throwing it. It's okay to repeat plays down 14 at this point. And I would also say, Palmer, kind of understanding that my defense is not playing great, so I know offensively i got to put some good possessions together here, make something happen on this side of the football. Using the quick game. 
He knew exactly where he wanted to go with that one, and they've got enough for the first down. Fresh set of downs after the completion. Give to the back. They make the stop after a gain of three to the 31. I never know if it's grammatically correct to say a team is being out physical. You hear it a lot in football, though. That's happening in this game. They are just not getting the push they need all game long up front to have any success when they decide to run it. Got three on first down at second and seven. Touch pass on the jet sweep. He's brought down, but there's a flag on the field. Let's see which way that's going to go. Hold it, hold it, hold it, up and up and That penalty moves the ball back 10 yards. We'll replay the down. Ready to fire from the pistol. Might as well stick with him. Just a solid stop by this sophomore. And this offense is desperate to keep this drive alive. Trailing by multiple possessions, and it's getting late. Makes a connection. They make the stop, but there is a flag on the field. We'll see what that's all about. Personal foul. Look at the pass. Pass. Defense. I know defenders hate quarterbacks and love nothing more than hitting them, but you're hitting yourself in the gut when you get a 15-yard penalty. He had to fight for a couple down to the 33. And the defense doing a great job committing to the run. When you commit to the run like this, obviously you can give up some plays in the passing game, but you got to stop the run first. Picked up two yards on that last one. They need eight on second down. Back to pass. It's Daniels. Fires to the big fella. Makes the tackle at the 23-yard line. Give him 10 yards and enough for the first down. Big fella showing some ability. Got away from one tackle. Defense lucky they had a few more there to help. Yeah, he's not a big stiff. He's not a blocking tight end. This guy can do some work out in the open field as well, and he showed you his athleticism. This Stanford offense is humming. Set up with another first down. The give to the lone running back. And a nice run there before the defense finally makes the stop. Man, a nice job by the running back finding space, getting downhill, making a good run. Great job finishing with the pads. Going to work in the red zone, they can't pick up the first down without getting it into the end zone. Looking to throw on second down. And he fires over the middle. It's incomplete. But how loud is it in this building? This is crazy. This, these fans are going absolutely nuts. And I used to love when the fans got involved, and I'm on defense, because it messes with the snap count. It messes with the communication, and it can really rattle an offense. Boy, they'd love to pick up this conversion and go to work with a first and goal. On third and short, they keep it on the ground here. Tackle is made, but not until he gets the first down. Yeah, a nice job dialing up that short yardage situation play call there, David. They needed one yard, and they picked up two. Yeah, great job up front. Great job by the back knowing where they need to go. Nice having a hole you can get through and not have to just do it all on your own as a running back. He'll come out throwing on first down. He's got it on the move. They'll get it down to the eight-yard line on that throw and catch, and the defense is backed up against the wall. A nice job by the defense there tackling the catch and smothering the tight end. They know this offense is going to try to find him in the passing game in a lot of different situations. That time, perfect coverage, and nice job bringing the big guy down. Not easy to do. Back to throw, it's Daniels. Feeling some heat. Pass is incomplete, but there is a flag, and the D might have been a little too rough on the quarterback there. That was right on the borderline. You want to make that quarterback feel you, but the official 
thought it was a little too much the roughing the passer penalty. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. The defense there has their backs against the wall. That's a great job of really just gearing down, getting some push up front, not giving away anything, and making that play in that tackle. Now second and goal, and right in the teeth of this noise. He'll run it to the middle, looking for the end zone. And he gets it back to the four-yard line and no farther. It's looking like they're going to have to throw this one in now on third down, David. And you know the execution just has to be spot on. Timing especially at the quarterback position. And thinking about the defense, they're aggressive in these situations. They're going to play man. They're going to play up tight on you. So I know that. Now how do I counter punch and attack this defense? Snag in the end zone. Touchdown, Cardinal. Great example of how a second half can really change everything for a team. No doubt. First half looked bad. It looked like it was bleak. It looked like it was ugly. But now you're starting to get it turned around. More drives like this is what's needed. On to attempt the try. And the extra point is good as they close to within a touchdown, 24-17. Precise, relentless execution on that 13-play scoring drive. And they cap the drive with a four-yard touchdown pass. The kickoff team out there getting set. And he takes this from inside the five. Not a lot of space to be found. Good hustle by the coverage team, and they stop him at the 21. Penn State sends the offense back onto the field. After standing on the sideline and watching that long touchdown drive, they really need to put something together to give their defense a rest. And that's a real thing, man. Like, you, you played a lot of plays, you get worn out, you need a chance to go decompress on the sideline, get some oxygen. Palmer, now it's on this offense. Yeah, this is the definition of complementary football because it's a two-pronged problem. You've got to score points and answer, but you've also got to take your time and give your defense an opportunity to get their win. Quarterback on the keeper. That's what you expect from a senior. Don't give them any extra yards. Great tackle there. Yeah, and it's a nice job by this defense. Understand, listen, that QB is a threat. And they're going to run all kinds of options, and he's going to run the football. They were dialed in and got that sucker to the ground. Ball spotted at the 29. Here they come on third and short. They'll stick to the ground looking for the marker. Still on his feet at the 45. And he will finally go out of bounds after another big gain, and they are absolutely gashing them with this running game. Third down and two, you know it's time to get physical, and this unit paves the way, Jesse, and gets the big first down. And this back's got such a burst, too, doesn't he? As soon as he saw the hole, he exploded through it and picked up a huge chunk of yards. Right back to the well. Dances away from one. They pick up half of it. It'll be second and five. Well, this offense came into the game knowing they wanted to be physical. They wanted to establish the line of scrimmage. And they're running downhill right at this defense. And they're churning out positive yardage early. Halfway there on first down, it's second and five. Give to the running back. And the defense snows him under after a very short game. Man, that D tackle is a freak athlete. Did you see him come out of his stance and beat the offensive lineman? Getting to the running back, cat-like quickness. Will they keep it on the ground again here on third down? They'll try to power their way ahead. They'll pick up enough yardage for the first down. They've got it at the 30. This offense has to get this guy the ball in as many ways as possible. He showed you all of his tools on that last play. The Nittany Lions are moving quickly down the field. To the ground. He's got it again. 
They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Well, this guy's been eating them alive all game long. Finally, though, David, you wonder if the defense has been able to make some adjustments, find something positive to help slow this guy down. Hey, baby steps, right? That, that's a tackle for a loss. I know he's got over a hundo on the game, but this defense is definitely going to have to be more aggressive, commit more guys to stopping that bad man. We've come to the end of the quarter, and it's Penn State on top. They've done the work to build a nice cushion. Now to bring it home as we check out the stats after three quarters. One more period to go to see who can make the winning plays and come home with the victory. This offense has a second down play. They'll go to the ground. Nose is ahead to the 30-yard line to pick up of one. Third and long from the 30-yard line in this defense, hoping to knock them out of field goal range. They'll try the left side. And he's knocked down, but there's also a flag that's been dropped. Let's check on the call. Hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. Holding penalties, the ultimate drive killer. We'll see if it costs this offense here. And they've converted their first two third down opportunities, but a third and long is a different animal. Looking for a man, it's Aller. Looking to the big tight end. A strike downfield. And he'll haul it in and take it to the end zone. Touchdown, Nittany Lions! The offense flexes its muscle a bit and widens the gap. Take a little exhale, you know, you, you did your job, you got points, now you put your defense in a position where, hey, go out and get another stop. We're in great shape, so the offense definitely take care of their business. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. And the extra point is true, and they have a two-touchdown lead, up 14 in the fourth. The kickoff unit about to go to work. On the move from inside is five. Strikes the blow. Not a lot of space to be found. Good hustle by the coverage team, and they stop him at the 21. Stanford has it back. The Cardinal offense returning to the field. Got his man quickly. And the big fella couldn't elude the cornerback who makes a sure tackle. Well, and here's the problem offensively. Because you're trailing by so much so late in the game, the defense now is going to be playing big zone coverages, and they're going to allow you to throw the ball underneath in the middle of the field, rally to make a tackle, and bleed the clock. It's going to be hard now for this offense to claw their way back in this one. He's looking for an open man on second down. Reacted well to the tip, but just couldn't squeeze the football. Instead of the turnover, it'll be third down. You know, the defense just hasn't seemed to quite have an answer. They've come close to interceptions like that one there, but they haven't registered any so far. They've given up a few touchdown passes. They're just not quite able to make the plays they need to against the pass in this game. And that's incomplete. A defender all over him. Knocked the ball to the ground. Fourth down coming up. And this is why coaches get paid the big bucks. Tough decision on your own side of the field. Fourth quarter, I'm trailing. Is it go time now, or do I trust my defense? Stanford lines up to punt it away. Makes a move. They'll put a stop to that return at about the 37-yard line. The Dinky Lions going back to work on offense now. This offense has really been clicking in the game so far, Jesse. No doubt. Every and this sophomore able to wreak some havoc and get the sack. 
And that is your job. The O-line has to protect their quarterback. That's the most important position on the field. You got to make sure you keep him upright. You got to do a better job. First down sack pushes it back. Now it's second down. Looking for a crease to the left. And just wedges it ahead a bit before he's brought down. Ball's at the 29. Defense can taste getting off the field. It's third and long. Looking to throw, it's Aller. Throws to the wideout. And here's the pick, and oh, did they need that right now. Just a really nice play. Not a lot on the return, but that's all right when you hand it to your offense at the 42. Well, big-time playmakers make big plays in big games, and that guy needed to make that interception at this critical juncture of the game. There's still time for them to go out and win it. Could that be the play that sparks this team? The Stanford offense making its way back onto the field. After a punt on their last possession, they are set up in plus territory this time. And honestly, it wouldn't have mattered if they scored a touchdown in their last possession. You've got to be able to turn the page and see this as a brand new opportunity to go get points. Yeah, and your defense has set you up for the position to get points right away. Now, let's get this offense back rolling again, create some momentum, just get a few first downs, and I'm in scoring position. After picking up a couple at second and eight, He's looking to throw. He's right on target. Just making a play, getting it to the 23-yard line. It'll be first down. Well, we see another catch by this guy. This defense is going to need to do a better job of tackling the catch. In coverage, I know they want to slap the ball away, but if you can't do it and force the incompletion, you've got to at least make sure you're able to drag him down to the ground as soon as he catches the ball. Wants to throw on first down. And it's an incomplete pass over the middle. Not seeing a lot of chemistry between the QB and his intended target on that play. That incompletion leads to second down and ten. He's looking to throw. Zings it complete to the right. And a good job of coverage by that defense. Just a short pickup. Screen pass just not working there. You figure at this point of the game, trailing, you're going to have to be more aggressive and take some shots. You usually run screen passes when you think there's going to be a blitz. But because the defense has the lead, they're just sitting back and playing big zones. This crowd knows this defense needs them right now. That's caught. It's Io Manor. And he'll step out of bounds just short of the goal line. Almost a touchdown, but not in there yet. Well, trailing like they are right now in the fourth quarter, their execution offensively is just going to have to be at a premium. You can't afford a lot of incompletions at this point. Everybody is going to need to be on the same page moving forward. Stanford comes up with a first and goal. They'll try to get it in with the run. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. The offense gets in those multiple tight end looks. You kind of have a good understanding of what's coming. You don't know where the ball's going necessarily, but to put those big old bodies in there to block, to move people, to put more mass on the field, especially once you get in this red area where you have to be able to run the football effectively. Those passing windows tend to shrink. And he's sprinting. He'll take it all the way. Touchdown, Stanford! Well, how about that? And after that touchdown, we might have a finish after all, Jesse. I love it, Reese. And this team is not quitting. Yeah, they're down on the scoreboard right now, but they are clawing and they are scratching their way back in this game. They're going to keep going hard until this clock reads all zeros. Lining up for the PAT. For the 
And the extra point draws them closer. It's 31-24. About to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. He'll start the return inside his five. Not a lot of space to be found. Good hustle by the coverage team, and they stop him at the 21. Penn State sends the offense back onto the field. And they've got a little bit of a cushion here, David. If they can add to it on this drive, it would be nice. And it definitely makes a little bit of a difference. Knowing I'm up by more than a field goal, obviously, Jesse, my mindset switches, and I know I can't make mistakes. Yeah, and David, I don't think they have to reinvent the wheel on offense here. What they've been calling has been working. Just get back to doing what you're good at. Tough way to start this drive. Now they'll try to fix it on second and 15. They'll give it to the back. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Defense doing their job getting that last stop, and now third in California. Not a lot of play calls to convert this, so defensively, let's get off the field now. The clock's running. We need to give it back to our offense with as much time as possible. And the running game has collapsed so far on this drive, and now it's third down. Looks as if the defense was a little too eager there, got into the neutral zone, and that'll be a five-yard penalty. Defense a little too eager, and that's an encroachment penalty. Five yards for the offense. To throw, it's Aller. Shoots it to the left, and it's intercepted. A huge fourth quarter play for this defense. He was trying to get that return going instead. He'll hand it to his offense at the 38. Well, what a play by the defense there. Trailing here in the fourth quarter by one possession. Able to steal it away now and put their offense in position to at least go tie this game. Looking for a productive play on first down. Wasting no time throwing on this drive. Catch in the middle, it's Bachmeyer. Ripping off a good chunk inside the 25 and they're set up with a first down. When you play zone coverage, everybody drops back. Everybody has eyes on the quarterbacks. You're not really looking at the wide receivers a lot of times, so they can slip in those little cracks, and the quarterback can really make precise throws. Great job, great play, great throw, great game. Hand off from the shotgun. Running with power. Going to be a gain of about three down to the 21. It's just simple. Simple first down run, showing your physicality, setting your offense up in a good spot. After the three-yard pickup, they come to the line second and seven. Quarterback flips it ahead quickly to the receiver. Nice, solid form tackle from this sophomore. And these little touch passes, man, they're just the easiest completions ever for quarterbacks. Palmer, I bet you would have loved being able to just flip it forward. That counts as to your completion percentage, which is good. And then it's all right after the catch, so pretty easy for a QB. You wouldn't have been the only All-American in this booth, Dave, if I were allowed to have push passes <laughs> when I was playing quarterback. I'll tell you that. It is so hard to defend. It's so hard to seal that edge, especially when this guy's full speed ahead coming around the edge. He is going nowhere. Stop at the line of scrimmage. What a great play by the linebacker. You talk about filling a hole. The defensive line does their jobs. He comes in the hole and says, sit down, sir. Trailing by a possession. They need to keep the ball. They'll try to convert on fourth down. He'll try to throw and pick up the first down. Can't find his man. It'll be incomplete, and that is a heartbreaker this late in the game. And some people won't like that, but I like aggressiveness. And that's who they are as an offense, so it's okay to be aggressive. But I know one thing now. After that fourth down stop and you're trailing, I'm going to need my defense to be aggressive. It's going to be a big possession right here in the fourth quarter to get me the football back. Six-yard pickup on first down. Leaves them with second and four. They'll run it from the gun. 
dragged down at the 30 after a five-yard gain. Man, it's so nice to have a guy that you can depend on. Like, this, this offense is built around him for a reason. Just a, a good running back. You can see, gets north-south, doesn't dance, picks up positive yards, breaks tackles. He's just a really good player, and that's why this offense runs through him. They'll snap this one from the 30 on first and 10. Pocket starts to collapse. The freshman able to get home with the sack. Oftentimes with play action, you're asking the quarterback to hold on to the ball a bit longer, and you're asking this offensive line to hold up and pass pro a bit longer. Against this athletic front seven on defense, it's going to be tough. After not getting a thing done on first down, it's second and long from the 24. They'll keep it on the ground to keep this clock moving. They make the stop, but not before he takes a chunk out of what they need to move the sticks. And I think this is where coaches really earn their money late in games, right? It's in the fourth quarter. You've got the lead. Do you want to stay conservative and run the football? Because I see the defenses. They start to get aggressive, and so sometimes you can take the other hand and take advantage of it. They go to the draw. Oh, it gives him the tough stiff arm. And he'll run across the sidelines after the good game. Illegal people Illegal the back. They'll decline that penalty, obviously very happy with the results of the play. The Nittany Lions decide to punt it away. First time today we've seen a punter go to work. Not going to risk a return here. He'll make the fair catch. The eyes now turn to the defense to see whether they can keep this lead intact late in the fourth. Looking to throw, it's Daniels. Finds the tight end. How about this backer in pass coverage and bringing the big hit stick with it, too? The modest gain on the completion really shows why you want to run the zone, make them execute, and rally to the ball. 100%. Zone eyes on the quarterback. I see him throw the football, break on it, go make tackles, live to fight another down. He's going to pass on second down. Just had to get rid of that one. Good job to avoid the loss. And how nice is it to have the home crowd going? Bananas. Communication is harder. The, the snapping the football, everybody being on time. Man, this crowd really affected the football. Game. Better find the earplugs. Here comes the noise. Backing this defense on third down. From the gun, wants to pass. Unloads to the wideout. He's got it. Finally run out of bounds, but he has this offense rolling with a first down. Well, that's exactly why you practice these two-minute situations. The quarterback knew exactly where to go. He's trying to work the sideline, save some clock. Great route by the receiver getting open, making the catch, getting out of bounds. And this drive is off to a pretty good start. To the air on first down. And it's incomplete. If you're going to take a hit like that, you might as well hang on to the ball. After the misfire, now on second down. Trying play action. Coming after it. That pass is incomplete, and they might be fortunate. It wasn't knocked free for a fumble. It'll be third down. And finally, the defense is able to get some pressure on this quarterback. They've been trying all game long different ways to affect him. Weren't able to get there. But on that play, because of the pressure, it affected his accuracy. And that's why the ball falls in. Looking downfield, it's Daniels. Pressure coming. We have reached the two-minute warning, and time is of the essence if this offense is going to make a play. It's a one-score game late, and they've got to go for it on fourth down. He'll try to throw and pick up the first down. Fires to the wideout. 
Tremendous awareness along the sideline and the ability to get the foot down for the big pickup. What a great individual effort here in this two-minute situation. He makes the catch in the middle of the field. He knows he's got to find a way to stop the clock. The only way to do that is to get out of bounds. He uses his speed and his vision, and he's able to elude the defense to save some time. They want to just keep throwing it. Quick strike complete. And they picked up nine on first down. It'll bring up second and short. They immediately call timeout, trying to preserve every second they can to try to rally here late. Still some work to do after that last completion at second down. They'll run play action. He tries to take the top off. And it falls incomplete, but that could have been disastrous. The defender was right there. It's been tough for this QB in this one. Very small windows to throw into, and he's been under some duress as well. It's hard to find a rhythm as a QB in those types of situations, and that's why it appears as though his team's going to be leaving here with an L. They'll throw on third and short. Find his big tight end. There to make the tackle, but the big throw is good enough to give them a first down. I'll tell you, this quarterback has just been in a great rhythm all game long. With that last completion, he's now over 300 yards passing. Everybody has to be set. They have to get it off. Dropping back, it's Daniels. It's on target and complete. And he'll be marked down right there, still short of the first down. Defense comes up with a really big stop there. That's nice. They don't give up the first down, so the clock keeps working. But they're on their own end of the field. They know this offense is going to start taking shots into the end zone. They better have some guys ready on the back end, ready to swat some balls away and make some plays. The play action fake. Tight end finds a soft spot. They make the tackle, but he's got a fresh set of downs, and it's first and goal from the seven. Quick timeout call by the offense after the play, trying to preserve every minute possible. And they are looking to pull even with a touchdown here in the fourth quarter. He's got it on the run. And the defense holds firm. No pickup at all on that play. Well, that clock is ticking. That clock is ticking big time. I want to take shots down the field. I want to save my timeouts, and I want to try to get out of bounds here with the clock ticking down and us trailing by a score. These fans raising the volume on second and goal. Just had to get rid of that one. Good job to fight another play. This late in the game, fourth quarter, go time. we got to make plays. we got to go to those things that really, really work well. We can't waste too many more downs. I know it's third down coming up, but we got to put this thing in full throttle. If they can get it into the end zone here, they can really turn up the heat in this one. Third and goal. Gets it out quickly. Offense will use a timeout. 19 seconds left in the game. Trailing and getting deep in the game. They'll go for it here on fourth and goal. From the gun, he'll try to throw. It's incomplete, and they desperately needed to keep that drive going, and they couldn't make the connection. They'll leave it with him. And a decent game there before the defense makes the stop. 